right we're recording we're recording so um, I'm not bothering with build build throughs what the f run throughs build through build ups I don't know what to call it um, but I just want to show my uh, new three towns that I've been working on over the last few days this is just for prosperity really so this is a map that I constructed myself and uh, I made it quite easy to get the, the uh, industries to the towns in order to um, oh god I'm gonna have to close the door um, just to see could I get the towns uh, kind of obsession with getting them as big as possible but anyway I really like this area that I've built up now and before we start something new I thought I'm just gonna give you a drive around so I'm on one of the dry maps it, it hasn't rained here for many many a month and you can see in the distance that's one of my three different cities one is called San Diego I don't know what the other two are called they've all got over a thousand citizens which I think in this game that's pretty large. Uh, the roads are not too bad when you're out in the middle of the wilderness like this. When you get closer to the city, things will probably get a bit more congested. I haven't bothered building big three-lane freeways or anything yet because I've, I've, I've done that before and it didn't seem to have much effect. It, in games like these the cars always tend to stick in one lane it doesn't matter if you have six lanes and they can pick they always seem to stick in the, the one so to be honest I don't see the point just I think two lanes in this game is as good as three or four okay so uh, we're coming into one of my places here And the other thing to say, I had great sport. Ooh, that looks to be very busy. Could do with another truck. I kind of uh, went bankrupt earlier on, and I, I, I decided I got rid of all my trucks and everything, and I started from scratch again. And it's amazing the way uh, in this game you can go from having 20 trucks on one line because they're not able to carry much stuff two when you get to the end like where I am now I've basically just got two two trucks on a lot of the lines because these trucks they carry 36 units each and if you make sure they're full each time they depart they are really effective they also uh, because when I got nice buses as well so because you don't have well that's the end of that trip because you don't have hundreds and hundreds of trucks going around it helps with the, the traffic congestion so in some of my places it's quiet I am at uh, 2109 here and on the, on the date so we're very we're very up-to-date very modern here this is one of my trucks which is stopped I guess it's dropping off something yeah. just gonna go back to show you where it's coming from now uh, oh, I must have a go on my buses as well I don't know how big you can get these places there is still a growing demand for the building materials and also for the for the food but I'm finding it difficult to get any more stuff into the towns because uh, I don't know there doesn't seem to be a great demand I mean there is a demand but when you go to the to the actual like here for instance you see I mean there is a demand for these building products and yet when I'm at the station even though it's been supplied 
pretty sure it's been supplied reasonably well it's got nine and it is getting the stuff out but very very slowly so as far as I know well ah I guess I can improve this somewhat I can go I can I'm gonna go back to all of these buildings because this is actually nowhere near its capacity which means I can increase the uh, amount of trucks yeah obviously line three well there you go it's kind of done let's give it two more trucks uh, let's just increase the size of this I'm sure this yes anyway what I really want to do is find a car going the other way because there's one I really like going around driving around and uh, let's go at the medium speed and bingo I think this is the best way to look at your your world from the ground level and it's also a great way of seeing what the traffic is like so yeah I've had great fun doing this like I say uh, I've kind of learned the hard way that you've really got to keep an eye on all the the quantity of trucks that you have because there's a tendency to replace your whole fleet with up-to-date more up-to-date trucks when a new one comes on the market and I made the mistake of just kind of changing 20 trucks for the for the latest 20 trucks but uh, but of course as the trucks get more advanced they carry more stuff and so the trick is to, to actually reduce the amount of trucks to try and make it as economic as possible for yourself and also it keeps the pollution down it keeps the car, traffic jams and things down um, I found that really cool that uh, I've, I'm running lines now with just two trucks where before I had like 15 20 trucks doing the same thing where's my guy going he's going to a commercial building I am surprised that the the relative lack of uh, traffic where's the drop-off point oh that was that wasn't a truck so that guy has gone here shopping and the other time I did this I waited for a while and I was surprised that the person you're following yeah there you go that's exactly what I was they actually they they start up again if you just kind of don't don't change the screen so now my person is driving to a residential building so I, I think they've they've come from their shopping and now they're going home which means they're going to go back I would guess to the, uh, the, the town they just came from perhaps casino casino bar I like this game when it's 1850 but I have to say I really like the modern the modern times here I just love the the detail in the cars they've done a great job with the models here and I know you can get lots more on the workshops but you really get the sense that each car you know that there's a fantastic variety of cars and people that was the problem with city skylines all those years ago I remember playing it there was like about three different types of cars duplicated a million times same and it was the same with everything else there was one type of truck here it's cool you really get the sense that it's a real breathing kind of uh, world so 
So the traffic is still moving pretty well. I'm going to show you the statistics of the towns a little later. We are going back to this town that we left and well it's um, it seems easy enough to get from one place to the next which is really cool because if you watch my last video where I was dealing with just two big cities um, there was just a, a terrible backup of truck oh my god that could cause a very serious fucking accident it was nearly disaster for whoever this person is Can you imagine a big stag in the middle of the road ah, here we go so ah, there's bound to be kind of a build up at some point here we are kind of at the end game I think I'm hoping to keep pushing these these places because I, I know I can deliver a lot more uh, of various materials but you see that was pretty cool that didn't take too long to get into the to the town oh look at that car and this person is going to their house oh I love that car in front and we're getting a bit stuck now I'm going I'm just going to keep going till they get to where they're going I just want to see how long it's going to take this guy to get home But the thing you notice, like I was saying earlier, there's not a lot of trucks driving around, and I think that's really cool. The less, the better. And there you go, that's where he lives. So I could hover here for a while, and that guy will come back, and if he works in this town, he may just walk to the town, or she may just walk to their, um, to their workplace, or take a bus. They only take the car, obviously, if they're going to drive to the next town. So that's cool. Ooh, I've got lots of cars in bad condition. Trucks in bad condition. Let's have a look at my finances. You can see here that I... I kind of struggled really I went down below zero a few times here just about and I, I took some loans again uh, lately then I've been doing okay and I th think I've paid off yeah I've paid off the loan so over the last few years you can see three three million two one no four six fuck I can't read the screen I've got I've got the uh, the daylight shining on the screen. I can't see it. Five million. I'm doing pretty well. My railroads. Let's check out the railroads. They really are a pity because whenever I have a look at the rail, they all, well, now they're not full. They've been really hard to manage because I find myself forever increasing to, for the capacity and then when you you know you have a, you have 200 people waiting at the station so you you do what you do, what I did here you add on lots of car passenger cars 26 but the thing is that uh, once they pick up the 200 people and then come back two or three times there there isn't the same it's not like there's 200 people continually at the station it's just there's been you haven't had enough uh, room on the train and so you 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 make it a uh, quite big but eventually you know the, the the because if you keep arriving constantly the number drops and drops and you end up having 
a train that can hold 105 people but then you're down to like 25 30 people on the train so the thing to do there would be to in spite of that uh, my trains are continually losing money it would seem let's go and have a look at one so this has 37 people out of 63 the three different places are connected so I was kind of hoping I'd have more maybe it's because of the state of some of these trains these you know maybe I don't understand completely yeah look at this is this because the maintenance of these things is the running costs are, are so high and if you if you upgrade the trains does it keep these costs down I don't know how that works yet to be honest <coughs> because it's not like the trains are not doing any business it's not like the stations are empty you'll see when it comes in here I got 49 people here I mean that's not too bad I mean that should be earning uh, some money but <coughs> but it's not because of these damn uh, maintenance costs which which I don't understand to be honest So although I'm making pretty decent profit on the roads, I'm kind of losing it all on the rail. And I don't know if that's because uh, I simply... I'm not looking after you know I'm, I'm not kind of renewing these carriages and stuff let's do that now let's just stick one uh, this one let's stick one as well so these are new new carriages so and this let's put two on this one so maybe that will mean that the maintenance cost will be better I mean I haven't checked the actual engines <coughs> I've decided to leave this uh, I I'll go through the other stations but this one I left it with its old building so you can see I've got you know this is one of my beautiful modern buses everything's looking a bit a bit tacky a bit dirty because I haven't really upgraded anything for a long time let's this is why again this is about as modern as you can get with these buses and well it's taken 17 out of 17 people so that's pretty cool again I scaled back the buses I think you know you can take 17 people really the thing to do is in this game is not to have 20 buses going around your town and 80% of them are empty well, we took 17 people from that bus stop that's funny because I only saw about 3 people standing there I 
again. I mean, there's nobody at that bus stop. Apparently there was 11 people. Must be hiding. It's a bustling place now. Excellent. Doesn't seem to be a lot of bus stops. And here, 13. I'm quite surprised at the, the fact that uh, things are moving around reasonably well and I think the, the thing as well in towns is in, in the towns where I have upgraded the roads and stuff in the towns look at all these people coming out this bus stop here is going to be busy if you wait for a second ah Bus, bus driver, bus driver, there's about 30 people just behind you. That man does not enjoy his job. Uh, yeah, I was saying, in, in the past I've, I've done things to the roads here and it, it always seems to have the opposite effect. And maybe it's because I'm just doing things that are wrong, but I'll increase the size of these roads, I'll put in traffic lights, and as soon as I start messing with the with the roads within the the, the cities, everything seems to, to get worse. And I've noticed here by just leaving everything alone, I haven't touched anything, and just letting the AI itself kind of expand and, and do its stuff, the roads are all pretty good. And this is not really too small, this town. It's got over a thousand people. And this is what I really want to try and work on next. Maybe not on this video because it's going to get a bit... I'm going to get too absorbed into this. I'd like to see, can I really get this full here? Can I, can I supply it with over 380? Because at the moment I, it's only 70%. And see if that will increase this figure here the only other thing to show here really is this is this the stations that we've seen the buses and I do I do have rail here like I said this is one station here um, I've got a line going over to here this is one of my stations that I've modernized here oh, look at the I just love the detail here the way they're going underground they're going under the tracks to come up here to get to the other platforms this is also the first time I ever Bizarrely, I don't know why, but this is the first time I've ever mo modernized my uh, railway stations. How long have I been talking here? 23 minutes. Well, I'll carry on a bit more. So that's the uh, middle station here. And uh, we've got the train coming from over there. And also, we've got a train coming from the other side. So, the, uh, the, the people can get from one place to either of the other two via train if they want. And in the middle here, we've got this little road, which I'd like to take a trip on this road. This is great because it's a really long long journey again I haven't done anything like I was saying with the roads it is quite busy going in there I may do something with that but again uh, I'm quite pleased
with the roads and the fact that I haven't really done anything and the game is still working well oh I built a roundabout yeah forgot about that actually there was quite a a backup of traffic here because there's there's an intersection of three different roads so that roundabout <coughs> that roundabout has obviously done its duty there because there's no there's no uh, blockage anymore it's such a cool game this um, I'm not so sure about parts of the AI <coughs> in that um, I was playing this another time and I didn't really do very much at all and I I was getting kind of the same effects in terms of traffic and in terms of the, the city growth without really doing very much it was like just over time things were seeming to happen but it's a great game to just because it's not if you're kind of careful what you're doing it's not that difficult I have run out of money a few times but hey, you can you can kind of take a loan of about 100 million I think if you want so honestly so here we are back in this town which is looking pretty cool I like the hills here it's San Francisco vibe and residential you know these houses it looks pretty cool at home this person's at home I'm gonna hover around for a while to see what they do when they leave their ho home over there is the food processing plant and my truck you can see it's just waiting in the truck stop there and being filled up so I guess that means that the food processing plant <coughs> is not receiving enough stuff or there is not enough demand because I'm supplying enough so I'm still wondering about a lot of the different mechanics of this game. I feel there's more to it than I uh, I'm, I realize yet. But it's that kind of game that is just so replayable because you keep, every time you have a run through, you end up thinking, oh, I've, I'd like to do this again and try something else. Where's my person? How long is he going to stay at home for? Okay, I guess he's... Don't know where he is. Anyway, it's lovely little houses here. So I, again, in some, these seem to be quite wealthy. Seems to be quite affluent. You know, certain of the buildings have got a kind of designer feel to them. I don't know if that's the case. So my person is out walking through the trees, so that's really cool. So this is the view, of the person's view. And the only problem is they walk through things, look at that. But besides that, it's a great, uh, it's a great street view. They're going to their workplace now, I think, commercial building.
Mind the tree, mind the pin. Mind the tree, mind the tree, mind the... Oh. So I don't know... Oof, God. Give us a, I don't know, maybe this is as big as the place can get. Look at that, downtown. Maybe the towns just don't get much bigger and I'm at the end here. Fantastic. Where does this person work? And again you notice there's not too many trucks. So I guess looking at it, I'm just thinking now that the fact that all these people are walking to work means that in future what one should do is put, um, and I guess you can get people, oh, there, there it is, person walks there. But if you want to increase your transport system, the idea would be to try and have plenty of bus stops from the residents to the commercial areas. And also, I guess, to the sh shopping areas, because if you, the idea may be to get these people that are walking so that they can just take the bus. And if there's no bus near where they are, then they have to walk. And I guess that's y your objective is to, oh, now where's she going? Back to the residential building, so you see. There's lots of people walking and I think the idea is that you should be able to take as many of these people off the paths as possible. So I, I don't have enough bus stops or anything. If I had more bus stops here then there wouldn't be this amount of people walking around. And if I had more connections between the towns, because at the moment it's just the trains and they don't seem to be working very well. If I had more buses between the towns, maybe there wouldn't be that much, as much traffic. So this person is going home. Which is here somewhere, I think. But they have not been able to find a, a bus. There are some lovely cars, vans and things. Right, I remember seeing that building there earlier on. Where do you live? Where does this person live? They're not going to walk all the way to the next town, are they? We're nearly getting to the, the end zone here. There you go. You live in one of these places. That place underneath me. place yeah so yeah I guess there are more ways uh, more micromanagement that one could do to think well all these people that live here they're all traveling in to the center here and you can see that my person has had to walk all the way from here all the way down the street into there so if there was more buses it might be very helpful for all the people living out here these aren't houses are they? these are These are the industrial buildings where the people work. So again, you could do it if you bus stops out here. 
Uh, the commercial area, where is that? Residential. Oh, well, that's residential as well. I thought that was. So, where is the shops? All over here. So again, this is where you need some bus stops because a lot of people they want to get to these commercial buildings. It's, it's not where they work, but it's well, you can see it's where they get their takeaways, pound shops. And at the moment, there isn't really any bus stops anywhere here. Because it's quite a long walk. Also, these are all bargain basement, cheap looking stores. Uh, again, I wonder, is there something you can do to make your town more prosperous? Because this really looks uh, quite cheap. Supply rating zero. Cargo supply rating. All right, so I'm, this doesn't have any stuff. All right, that's interesting. So maybe I'm not supplying these areas with um, with any of the f from the food processor. I am, by the look of this thing, I am. Anyway, there's really lots more to do here, I guess, and uh, I may get back here and do another video later on if anything changes, but just to finish, I think I looked at the towns we see here, they are still growing a little bit. But I've found in the past, when they get to this level, over 1,000, 1,100, it's you know, pretty hard to get them to go anymore. But there does seem to be room for expansion. So I won't do that now, because this, this was just a quick, quick look at my town, my three different towns. And uh, yes, we shall leave it at that. It's given. 38 minutes. Good. Good. Good day.